What's up y'all? We out here at the garage again as you can see with another quick review on a pretty neat little piece of gear that was sent out to me. And as you can see, it's a digital bore scope. So it's the NTG 100 digital bore scope. I'm sure most of y'all know what the purpose of this is. Obviously, as it says, it's to check the condition of your bore, to check your barrel, your rifling in your barrel, your uh, gas port, just, uh, just a number of different things that you need to get inside your barrel and your bore to check out and inspect. Now, like I say, this was sent over to me by Teslong to do a review on but i also requested that they send a second one over so i can give this away to one of y'all and i'll let y'all know here later in the video what you need to do to enter to win this thing but let's get into this thing let me show you what it comes with and how it works so you get your nice little hard little clamshell case here so obviously what you get inside you get an instruction manual user manual there you get some accessories you get three little mirror attachments on the end i'll show you how those work and you get a usb to usb c adapter which we'll be using here in a second also then of course you get the actual bore scope now this is your scope here it's kind of semi-rigid i would say not not completely rigid and not really really super flexible as you can see once i uncoil it it's it's pretty rigid it is it does have some flexibility though so it's not super super rigid like a rod or anything but this thing is actually 48 inches long so you shouldn't have any kind of barrel in anything you own that this won't get the job done with obviously you also get the cord to attach it to your pc or your phone with so on one one end that's the, the attachment that attaches to the camera here as you can see there so you attach it to the camera there and on the other end it's got a neat little attachment there it's either usb or micro usb so if you can plug it into your pc or whatever it got usb if your phone or, or tablet or whatever you're using still has micro usb you just fold that piece down and it's already got the little micro usb connector on it and then like i said if your phone or tablet or whatever has the usb c connector you obviously just use this adapter pop it right on the end and then you got the usb-c connection got a little protective rubber cover on the camera there so pull it off then you got your camera and your led array on the end there six leds and it is totally adjustable as far as the brightness you got your little adjustment wheel there for your leds now the diameter of this thing is 0.2 inches which is very important y'all uh because you know 223 if you're going to want to use it for 223 you're going to need something 0.2 inches or, or five millimeters so you got to watch out there's a lot of different models out there and a lot of them are going to be too big if you're going to want to use it for 223 or 22 so make sure you pay attention to that another very important thing to consider consider on these bore scopes which I've already found out is your depth of field or your depth of focus uh, if you've got too large of a depth of focus you're not going to be able to see your your lands and your grooves in your barrel your your gas port you're really just not going to be able to see anything in pretty much any kind of caliber and I'll show you an example of why I know that here in just a little bit but the way they kind of deal with that on this model is you've got these you know you got these mirrors you screw these onto the end of the camera and then obviously it, it uh, gets your image off the mirror and brings it back to you from the side of the barrel so it's got a lock ring on the threads of this little probe here and what you can do is adjust your length of your mirror in or out depending on what kind of focal length you need if you'll notice you probably can't see this real well but for like a like a 223 you're going to want that camera way out on the end for something bigger you're going to want to shorten up that focal length and bring it back down some so let's get this thing set up and i'll show you how it works so obviously you're going to need to attach your connector cable to the end of your camera probe if you'll see it's got a little red dot and then the, the probe side has a little groove. You just line that up with the groove and then attach that with the little screw attachment there. Now, once that's done, like I said, you can use your PC or your phone or tablet or whatever. We'll start out with the PC first. It's the easiest, the simplest thing. Windows has got the camera app built in. You just simply plug it into a USB connector. Then you're gonna come over here and open up your camera program, boom. Uh, if it's a laptop, it's probably gonna pop up that main camera there first. Well, no, it automatically went to the other camera. If it does pop up your front camera on a laptop, obviously, you just hit this little uh, little camera thing over here and it'll switch to the test lawn. Now you'll notice, uh, see how the, the focus on it, it's blurry. The, there's no, it's not a long, it's not a wide field camera. So, but one, if you'll notice, once I get onto something close, then you get to focus in, which is what you want. So I've got us a little 5.56 upper here. We'll check that out first. So like I said, if you'll notice, I don't know how well it's going to come through, but you got that lock ring on the end here on the threads. For a 223.556 or 22 caliber, what I've noticed is you just want to barely put it on there until the threads are caught mostly on the end there. So one more turn out. 
Seems like it really wants it to be pretty far out to get a good depth of focus on a small barrel like a 22. So then you just snug up your lock ring. It's not looking really good out here because it's not what it's made for. But you'll notice here when we go inside, it'll, it'll all make sense to you. So let's check out this 5.56 barrel. Um, one of the main uses for if you're doing 5.56223, of course, is going to be probably looking at your gas port, if, especially if you're doing an assembly. So now if you'll notice when I go in, even though I've got this mirror on the front, you can see a little bit forward on the on the end of the camera. So you'll notice you can see basically where my bird cage pretty much attaches to the end of the barrel there. You can see the end of the barrel. Now you can actually take this mirror off if you want to get just plain frontal views like that. But, but for our purpose here today, we're going to have the mirror on. So as you can see, going into the barrel, you can see the lands and the grooves and then boom, you come across the gas, uh, the gas port. So now if you'll notice down towards the bottom down there, before I hit the mirror, you can actually see the gas port in the frontal view. So that'll help you know you're coming up on it and you can kind of adjust, you know, get your rotation right. And then in the mirror, as you can see, nice clear view of your gas port there. You can see if you got any erosion. I got a little erosion happening on the other end. Now this barrel is, uh, this upper is used for my special trigger. So it's definitely seen some use on it. So go on in further see all your lands and grooves now i got some copper fouling going on and and it's a little dirty it ain't been cleaned good in a little bit so y'all don't get on my case on about that but go on further on in like i say you can go the entire distance you can go from either end so here we go coming at the end of the coming into the chamber here and then pretty soon we'll be coming up on the locking lugs so boom here we go and now we're at our locking lugs check all those out Make sure they're in good shape, no chipping, no wear, no crazy unnecessary wear, anything like that. Everything's looking good on those. So like I say, it's really neat to be able to go in and see your barrel, especially if you're assembling something to see that gas port, make sure it's aligned with your gas block. Uh, just troubleshooting if you're having troubles in your bore, your, your locking lugs, anything like that. Just a really neat tool to have. All right, let me show you one more example. We'll use this 50 Beowulf barrel. This time I'll use my phone with the little app on it and show you how that works. Basically, like I say, if you've got USB-C, you need to use this adapter. If you got micro USB, of course, you just unfold it and plug it straight in like I showed you, but you hook your USB-C up or your micro USB, it's going to recognize it. Do I want to open USB camera? Yes. So what I've downloaded is this little uh, app. It's a free app called USB camera. It actually shows you in the user's manual that comes with this uh a couple of different endoscope camera softwares and this usb camera this usb camera is the one that i found to work best with it so download that little usb camera app for free so then as you can see it's recognizing recognizing the camera already now on this app here the little button down here is whether you either take a snapshot picture or make a recording of a video of it same deal here you go inside there and as you can see you'll start seeing the lands and grooves there Got a little copper fouling. One good thing too is like if you're looking for your gas port, kind of put your finger where the gas port's going to be at so you kind of get a reference so you don't get lost. Now, being that this barrel's larger diameter, it's a little bit tricky to keep everything in the, in the right focus for you. And especially with this little phone screen. See if we can, let's see if we can find our gas port, y'all. I, I saw it that time. There it is, there it is. So there's our gas port on the 50 Beowulf. But as you can see, like I say, it's a little bit wigglier because it's a lot more room in this 50 cal barrel. So if you get kind of up against the edge, you might get a little bit out of focus like that, bring it back. But basically the same deal, same exact process. You can go all the way on this one too. Let's go down to the end, check out our locking lugs on this. And there's our locking lugs looking all good there. No problem. Pretty neat little tool, y'all. So like I say, you can use your phone, you can use a tablet, whatever you can plug a USB or USB-C into. But that's pretty much all there is to the test long bore scope, y'all. Like I say, I think it's a really neat tool. I had actually considered buying one of these in the past for lining up my gas blocks with my gas ports and stuff like that. Uh, I've actually had, my daddy had his gas block work its way off of his uh, and we had to put it back on and just kind of had to use a flashlight looking in one end and seeing how much light was shining through. 
So this would have definitely came in handy in that case. Something really quick I want to mention here is Teslong reached out to me a few months ago, three or four months ago, about actually reviewing this right here. This is their little bore scope that comes with the, the screen on it and everything, um, and wanted to send this out to me. Now, this is a five millimeter camera. However, the thread protector on the end brings it over five millimeter. You can see I just bumped it off there. It wasn't screwed on good. This camera is really nice. This probe camera actually has its dual camera. It's got a front facing camera and it has one on the side that you can switch between. So you don't have to use mirrors at all to get to side view. The problem is this is a five millimeter probe. So it does fit in a 223. However, it's so close with it just having that side camera, you can't adjust the focal length. Now I've tried, it comes with some little attachments and a little mirror with this one in this kit. But if you put this mirror on it, then it bumps it over five millimeters and you can't use it in a 5.56 barrel. So now you could use it in larger calibers, but you can't use it in 22, uh, 223, anything like that, any kind of 22 caliber. Um, and unfortunately, the mirrors that come with the probe that I just got, are, don't fit on the end of this. This threaded area is too big for those mirrors, so I can't use the longer mirrors to adjust it. So the reason I'm mentioning this at all is just be very careful if you are, are going to buy one of these and thinking you'd like to have that display, you have to be very, very careful uh, of the, board, the diameter of that probe and whether or not you've got longer mirrors. And, and when you put the mirror on, does it still stay five millimeters or under if you're planning on using this for a 22 caliber? But this one does work perfectly. now. It doesn't come with the screen on it and unfortunately you can't take this and, put, and hook it to that screen because there's a proprietary attachment connector on that screen version so this is the one you want you want this version right here this model this is definitely the one you want if you're going to be working with 22 caliber so like i said Teslong sent this second unit out for me to give away and we're going to do this similar to how we did the uh, axle ear pro giveaway if you want to enter to win this down in the comments i want you to enter see inside see inside i'll put it up on the screen here so as long as you enter that in your comments along with whatever else kind of comment you want to leave you enter that phrase see inside you'll be entered to win this for yourself and i'll send it out to you so um tomorrow you know tomorrow is going to be thursday so thursday at 5 30 i'm going to give it 24 hours just like i did the last one i'm going to draw a name through a random comment picker and then i'll contact to contact you down in the comments and you can send me your email or your uh, address and all and i can get this sent out to you but that's gonna be it for this one y'all let me know down in the comments what you think about this test long digital bore scope do any y'all out there have these already do you see yourself having a use for these have you had a situation in the past come up that you could have used one of these to solve let me know down in the comments what your thoughts are but as always if you enjoyed the video make sure you hit the thumbs up make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that bell notification icon so you can get notified when i upload these new videos i'll leave an affiliate link for this bore scope down below check out my amazon storefront affiliate link y'all know the deal on that if you shop through amazon anyway hit that link up and then anything you get anywhere on amazon i get a kickback from towards the channel so i really do appreciate that as always if you're looking for some fantastic ear pro check out those axle affiliate links down below you can save some big money going through those links versus going straight through their site i appreciate all my range gang members for hitting that join button and every single one of y'all who watch my videos who hit the thumbs up subscribe to the channel and again leave me some comments down below what do you think about this test long digital bore scope i've got a ton of good stuff coming down the pipeline i got a bunch of good jelly videos already recorded got some new tool videos coming y'all's way so make sure you stay tuned for all that and in the meantime stay safe stay prepared and i'll see you soon